hope can you guys hear me? This is working. Test this. Yes, boys and girls. Hello, guys. Now there's a real shit fucking hell when I'm streaming. I'm like just so paranoid. I'm so fucking paranoid, man. It's unbelievable. I don't want to say anything. I, I've seen people getting banned because they mispronounced something. Like they thought they said something that wasn't like because of their accent and shit man i'm so fucking paranoid man fucking hell unbelievable fuck that shit if it wasn't for all this trigger happiness i would stream every day for now because i could promote the game and stuff but hey that's not why i'm streaming uh now i have a very big announcement guys um some people might already know it and have seen it uh let me see if it's actually back up or not It's going to be back up very soon, actually. So basically, what we did is we did a fork. We forked Purpose and Doobie uh, today. And um, you might wonder, like, OK, what, 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 what is the fork? What, why did you fork? It's, it's the, you know, it's the, it's the final cash grab. And uh, I just wanted to say goodbye before I go to the Bahamas. I wanted to go to the Bahamas earlier, but with all this Corona shit, I couldn't. No, like, yeah, we forked because you guys want to know why we forked? Come on, like make a guess. Can anyone make a guess why we fucking forked? Cause it tear you me shit. That's why. Uh like people that wanted to lock their purpose had to pay 50 bucks. What's up with that shit? That's just ridiculous. I don't know if you guys realize that, like, people had to pay 50 bucks. So literally, if you wanted to lock a thousand purpose, you would, you would literally, you would waste 25 bucks doing it because you lock for 50 and you only get 25. So you literally burn 25. It doesn't make any sense. So what is the fork? And guys, I mean... People that have a little bit of insight will understand how big of a deal it is. People without too much insight will not get it, but hey, whatever, graph goes up, who gives a shit? Either way, first of all, we slashed all transaction costs by four on DBX. So now locking will cost four times less. Uh, we optimized the contracts and made everything a lot cheaper which we had to do because it was just ridiculous. But that's not the only reason. Now the crazy shit comes. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Like, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Basically, the coin has been upgraded and has become future proof. And you might say, like, future proof for what? What we are going to do is we're going to have instant and gasless transactions. You might wonder, like, what did you just say? Well, yes. And I will explain you guys how it works. Because you might say, like, how are you going to do instant and gasless transactions on Ethereum? That doesn't make any fucking sense. You're going to lose all your money. Like, and I will just explain you guys. Technically, this is, this is going to be some tech talk. Some people are going to understand it and be blown away. Those that don't understand it are going to check. They're going to say, like, does it add up? Then the people that understand are going to say, like, this fucker figured it out. How do you do instant and gasless transaction on Ethereum? So, like, now the gasless, how does it work? The problem with gasless is people can screw us over. 
uh, they can just transfer back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and we would just keep losing money and losing money and losing money. Like we would need checks and entire system. So how did we do it? How did we fix it? Basically, if you spend purpose on gaming for good, right? The purpose that you spend, any purpose that you spend, you get duby for the amount that you spend and that duby gets used for the gas cost. So like the way our, 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 our game for good shop works, which is gonna be 90, 95% of the use cases is you burn your purpose. You don't even give it to us, you burn it. But purpose that gets burned does not just get burned. It's like as if you would lock it for 12, uh, 12 months and you get the duby. And basically the difference for the gas price gets re reduced and the rest gets sent to your wallet. So like, let's say you buy a pack for a hundred bucks and the transaction fee is $2, then you will still get $2 because $2 gets used for the, for like, like you would basically get $4 doobie, but we, we basically subtract the gas fee from the doobie you get. So that way you can literally, you can literally do all your transactions, even locking, you can lock purpose for free. You don't need Ethereum, nothing. You can trade heroes for free because even with, um, with trading heroes, we will be using the doobie on the hero because you can lock, uh, you can soul bound doobie on a hero. It's basically literally the gas is in the hero. And uh, if you have a, you know, if you have, let's say $10,000 on, on, on a hero, you can literally sell it and do whatever with it. And the hero will just, you know, basically um, have the, 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 the fees in it. And the way it works is we are basically paying for the eater but we subtract the doobie. And the, the way that works is with co-signing and we cannot abuse it at all. We have a relayer. You can choose whether you wanna do it the normal way and pay either, but you can also say like, hey, we want you guys to pay for the gas fee. And then we subtract the amount of doobie that is the gas fee when you do the transaction. And then you can basically literally without Ether on your wallet. You don't even need Ether on your wallet. You can basically use purpose and do. or lax. So now it still works as a, as a default coin, but we are working on the relayer so we can add this gasless functionality. To be used, we, like, we, we want, like if in poor countries or whatever, they want to, uh, uh, they want to basically trade or, or 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 whatever. If we want to use it for for good projects, like the the thirty second timer or the one minute timer or whatever, it doesn't work. It's like it's very unuser friendly for any kind of person to person interaction. So we want to make it instantaneous. Um, for the people wondering, is the purpose locked or unlocked? The purpose has been locked for the amount of time that it was locked. So you, it's literally a perfect fork, if you guys get what I mean. Um, so basically, you just have the same amount to be, and the purpose will also be locked for the same amount of time. That's also functionality we had to add to make it also more future-proof. But either way, I will explain you guys how the instant, like everything got airdropped except Right now, we are airdropping the locked purpose. So the purpose and the doobie already got airdropped. 
So you should be getting it or already have gotten it. Um, everything will be explained on how to add it, the new purpose on DBX, which should be online very soon as far as I know. Maybe it's already live. Let me actually have a look. Um, I know DBX is getting put live. I think it is live. Is it live? I think it is. Can you guys check for me if DBX is live? I think it is live. Not sure. Ah, uh, not yet? Oh, yeah. Well, it will be live very soon. Either way, if you guys are interested, I can explain you guys how instant transactions will work. Um, but if you don't, don't want to hear me talk about, you know, the all the technical stuff. So basically, you guys can add a new purpose to the to the MetaMask, yes. So the way the instant transactions will work is as following. Basically, everyone that has purpose or doobie will be automatically opted in um, once we, you know, once we go instantaneous, we will opt in people to uh, to instant transactions and you can opt out whenever you want. And basically how it works is if you go just to MetaMask and you send purpose to someone else, everything will just work. Um, and the way it works is you send purpose, but every transaction you do while you're opted in, there is a one day delay. So the way it works is like, if you send me purpose, then it is one day in limbo. And then after a day, the person that gets it can claim it. Now you might say like, what? That's bullshit. Like if I send the other person shouldn't claim it. The thing is, since we can claim it for you, we basically just claim it immediately. So if you send it, the other person will get it immediately because the intermediate of one day is just like a, a fail safe for in case we don't follow up with our end of the bargain by claiming it immediately. So after one day, the guy that gets it can claim it. So that way, now on our end, if you use our instant transaction service to put it like that, our relayer, because that's the MetaMask side of thing. Now for our relayer, let's say you go to our relayer, uh, to the to BX, you can send Duby or purpose to person B, and person B will immediately see that he got it, immediately. Uh, it will take a little while, like 30 seconds or 40 seconds for it to arrive on his address, but he immediately gets a confirmation. And now let's say you want to bamboozle and you send using our relayer and then you send through MetaMask because signing and giving us a permission to send the purpose or do be to person B also allows us to, for that amount, if you would send it and try to bamboozle us to undo the transaction. But that's only if you're opted in. I'm just explaining you guys um, how, how it works technically. So everything still works just vanilla, but if you want, you can make use of, uh, of our of our instant transactions and if you don't like the instant transactions and us like the the the, the delay because you have one block delay because when you send it's first in limbo and then we gotta claim it you can just opt out i don't know if you guys understand what i just explained will this be written somewhere on dbx we will explain it all once we are there but i don't really care so much about um, I don't care so much about white papers and all that shit. Like, uh, all this Fugazi bullshit, we just get shit to work and we use it in projects. So, yeah. How will it work with the game in G4G? Um, the way it works is when you go to the game for good shop, everything you buy 
basically or, or get you burn purpose you don't really buy you burn purpose and for burning purpose you get rewarded with stuff in the game and you get 30 percent extra vip and all that stuff um in the game you can trade heroes and everything and the id initially it will cost ether but once we have the system in place the in the game it will use doobie and purpose like we will replace Eater with Dubi and Purpose. When it would be nice to get some purpose? Uh, you got to see yourself, man. Like, but I, I, <laughs> things are, well, yeah. I'm not even promoting purpose at this point. I don't care so much. G4G transactions against Apple policy? No, because they promoted in the game. G4G is not promoted in the game at all. Um, Apple had no issues with Epic having a store and having Google store and all that stuff. That's multi-platform. They had issues with them promoting it in Apple and giving a separate uh, uh, possibility. Any news on coin market cap? As crazy as it sounds, we haven't heard anything of, of them. We didn't follow up either. But we did uh, apply and, and supply everything, all the information, and we even got a response. But since then, nothing. When does the new purpose arrive? I think the new purpose must have arrived, I think. I think it did arrive. Yeah, for most people. Yeah, for most people, it did arrive. And now we're fixing all the, 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 the purpose and stuff as well. So yeah, the, the good news about this, like the direct benefits you guys get is the, the cost for making orders and buying stuff on DBX will be slash four. We, we reduced the cost by fourfold, which is crazy. And uh, later on, we will have functionality that provides for gasless transactions. I don't know if you guys fucking know how big of a deal it is. I, I don't even, you know, I don't even know if you guys realize this shit, but whatever. Because it's really a big issue. Like, honestly, Ethereum and the fucking gas fees is just, it's ridiculous. It's just dumb. It's just stupid. It's just like Ethereum is fucking useless. Like that, it's useless. I'm sorry. Like, it's just use Like, it's just useless. Man, do you guys know how much it costs us to just fucking fork? It costs us like more than $5,000. Yeah, it was just un unusable. But it's, it's much, it's going to be much better. What about Doobie? Did I get a new uh, contract address as well? Doobie and Purpose both have been forked, yes. But yeah, how to start getting familiar with Purpose and Doobie? There is videos about it. Someone can link it. But man, I didn't come here to chill Purpose or Doobie though. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. <laughs> Make sure to add credibility to the new Doobie on Etherscan. Honestly, Kimek, it's going to sound really crazy, but I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about other exchanges. I don't give a shit about uh, like anything. Like... Our game is going to come out and we're just going to wreck it. We're actually going to bring the first proper product on the market, the pr first proper uh, blockchain. So, It was just re-saying that the, the game is going to be, uh, the, the DBX will be back up in 10 to 15 minutes. Can you integrate instant transaction solution with different wallets or is it custom solution? Listen, one James, it's a good question. Means you know what you're talking about. Instant transactions will not work with different wallets, but the vanilla way will still work. So the way we made it is that you can still 
you can still use your wallet because all these instant transactions, right? Solutions have their own wallets. You can't even use MetaMask anymore. But with our solution, you can still use MetaMask and you can also use instant transaction. And that took us a lot of time to, to, to engineer and design that to make that happen. Because we know that we want to make sure that people are still used to the normal way of doing things and don't have to go download our app or whatever the fuck. So, yeah. And I explained to you guys how it worked. Yeah. We've been working on it for three months, just so you guys know. Yeah. What we will also have to do is... Um, I'm saying it now already, right? It's a big project. We might, like, if for whatever reason, as time passes, there is fundamental issues with... Uh, well, fundamental bugs, we will have to fix them by forking, obviously. But so far, we've tested everything and things work. But since it's, it's, it's not like the previous coin, this has insane, crazy functionality. And uh, we got to make sure that it's really waterproof. But for now, it's like, I'm just saying, like, for now, it looks good. No need to, to, to do anything. But yeah. What will happen to the locked purpose? The locked purpose is being sent out to. What happened to coin market cap soon? Didn't get back to me. Uh, well, to us. Don't even know why. When it was the real question? One moon. We think it's twice since I, I stopped streaming, I think. I don't know. Uh... Man, I don't even want to chill. I don't want to. I don't want to chill. Just, just, just get yourself as much as you can. <laughs> the docker will be launched in November normally. But yeah, you guys have any any questions? When is the productivity app? Actually, the productivity app is almost done, design wise. Design wise, it's I'm just working with uh, with Nolan on the productivity app. Actually, I could have shown you guys a productivity app. We will have some uh, prototyping going, and maybe next time I can show you guys some of the prototyping. But I'm not gonna be streaming for the next month. Next time I stream is probably through Shadowlands. And or maybe a bit earlier to do a little close beta, a little close beta. I don't know. Yeah. Is there anyone that is thinking of coming over, by the way? Or not so much. I guess not. Here's a link. Apply, guys. Yeah, anyone can reapply. Will you get external audit for the smart contracts? We will do that post-launch, yes. We actually will. People can come for three months or for longer. Nikolai, did you already come over? Because I know there was a Nikolai that came over and then left. Is that you? Ah, you haven't been there. Where do I see the new Duby address? You will see it all on DubyX. DubyX will come live in like 15 to 20 minutes, I think. How many people left and came over during COVID? I think pe three people came and six people left. Yeah, something like that. Are the people that came over during before COVID during the loan still there? Yes. 
because of quarantine and all that shit. Yes. They couldn't even go back because there was no airplanes. <laughs> they were stuck here. When is the Reynard card game coming out? Soon. Yeah, it was a shame. Like it was, it was, it was, it was sad to hear that Rickful uh, passed away. Is Corona or panic now to you? Seems like nobody's dying anymore. Come on, man! What are you saying? Oh, yeah. Check the graphs, like we're almost at a million deaths. But yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised there is gonna be another lockdown in the in the next couple of months. Actually, I won't be surprised because things are really going crazy. Yeah, we're going to actually launch in the second lockdown. Yeah. What do you think about the Russian vaccine? I'm not I'm not an expert. I know they fast tracked it also for PR reasons, but uh yeah. But like Mr. Falvo, what you should do, right, is uh you should check the graph. Um, of deaths, right? In um, in another few weeks, I think, because they lag behind. First of all, secondly, Corona. It's not just about living or dying. Corona has insane um, side effects: neurological, heart conditions, uh, can affect the lungs like society will be heavily crippled by the side effects of corona for a very long time but yeah may i ask if it's possible to buy or download the teen series now i had to put that all offline for uh yeah for reasons Yeah. Will you get vaccinated when the vaccine comes out? I think everybody will get vaccinated. I don't even think you will have the option to opt in or opt out. I think it will be mandatory as well, probably. Maybe certain countries want to. No, I think it will probably be mandatory. You can't get you can't force people to get vaccinated. I don't know, maybe not in your country, but in Belgium you definitely can. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're not vaccinated, you probably cannot go to school and all that stuff. You will just have like a vaccine pass. They're already talking about it, like an antibody pass. And if you don't have it, you don't go anywhere. But yeah. 
So are you guys hyped about the game? It's coming out soon. Huh? It's actually soon, a month and a half. Is it up now? Oh yeah, DBX should be up now. Dries? Dries? I think he already left. Ah oh, yeah, it's there, it's there. The site is up. I wonder. Can't see locked purpose. Your locked purpose is still being sent right now, Neotox. It's, uh, we have to send insane amounts and uh, we send it with, I think, 80 Gwei or 70 Gwei. So it's, it's still being sent. But don't worry, it's going to arrive. Let me see. I'm going to open here in incognito mode. DBX. Work right now. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it shows the ID. Yeah, it shows the ID. When you start, it shows the ID. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Also, there is certain people that wanted to buy purpose, uh, that wanted to buy purpose. We filled these orders and we sent the Ethereum. Just so you guys know, there was a few orders, three people, just so they don't get scammed now and people sell purpose into them that is forked purpose. You guys get it or not? Just explaining it to you guys. There was three people that wanted to buy purpose and we just sold purpose and then sent the Ethereum to them. It still costs, but it costs four times less. And uh, after we've done all the relayer stuff, it will become gasless. Like Grunt, we have four purpose in Doobie to be compatible with gasless and instant transactions that we are working on. And for now, we have vanilla slashed the costs by four. Unlock slash four as well, yes. It's even more, it's like 4.2. It used to be 50 bucks or 40 bucks or whatever, and now it's less than, like, we, we slashed it more than four. But yeah. The total, the total supply of purpose was always 10 million. Yeah, if the gas fees are lower, then it's even lower. But yeah, we, we slashed it by four either way. Yeah. We burned from 11 to 10 million, I think. I have some medical issues, so I can't apply right now. Do you recommend to do some programming? Did, are you the guy that came over already from France? Because I know there was a Peter that applied from France. Ah, from Sweden. Are you the guy that applied from Sweden that came over? I see. That did the Wim Hof. Is that you? I don't know if it was him. Uh, no, then it's not you, someone else then. You think crypto and stocks will crash? Mm. I don't know, man. I just know that I'm just focusing on the game. The new one will get minted, right? Total won't stay at 10 million if I look at the roadmap. Yes and no, Poké, go real, because since so much purpose is going to get burned, 
by people buying through gaming for good, it will take a long time. It will really like take a long time to exceed 10 million. Yeah. Are you still planning on removing the supply wall? Uh, and the buy wall, like to, to make it go to the moon, maybe. <laughs> I, like, honestly, Neotox, the first thing I've done is uh, I fixed the, the gas issue, which was a big issue. Like, it was just, it, made, it, makes, it makes basically crypto unusable. Uh, I, I wondered why there is not more. I really wonder why there is not more uh, talk about it because it's absolutely bananas. Like at one point, one transaction was $12. Like the basic transaction was like $12. A lock would have cost you like $50, $70. It's just what the fuck. So you recommend any programming or... Uh, man, it's hard to say. The best thing is to to be here and come over and be here and work in this environment because you will learn a hundred times faster. But what we need ma mainly help with is practical stuff and uh, QA. Do you know that? Oh yeah, by the way, also what we are going to do is when you lock purpose, right? In the future, not now, but in the future, it will automatically unlock itself i wanted to tell you guys that too like so so basically um no the way it's it's gonna work is when you lock you will pay twice double the fee and then after it will unlock you say can it relock itself too actually neotox the current coin provides functionality where you can lock your purpose forever. Uh, and you can only mint from then on. So the way it works is if you, let's say you have a thousand purpose, you can lock it forever and you immediately get 4%. And after that, you can still mint. So basically after the first year, well, yeah, you would have 8%. Um, the reason why we have this functionality to lock forever is for deploying it as universal basic income. That's why we have it. We have this functionality because we think can give the, but it's the, the, what if you misclick? Uh, the thing is the functionality is on the token, but not on DBX. I'm telling you guys that the token can be indefinitely locked because we wanted this functionality to provide on the ground. The Uganda update, there is not so much of an Uganda update with all the Corona going on, to be honest. Very little, actually. Corona has done a lot of, uh, as like, yeah, Corona has, has actually slowed things down like crazy when it comes down to dependencies of other, other organizations. Although it sped up the game quite a bit here internally, but everything, interactions with other companies has slowed down like crazy. You think about getting purpose on Uniswap, how long to remove the supply wall? Uh, like supply wall remove, I'm not saying anything about that. And uh, getting purpose on Uniswap, man, the only, the only, the only, I talked about it with Reese, man, the only coin that is, that matters is purpose and do be <laughs> like uh, I, I, I really I don't care about uh, I just don't care about about it being I'm not needy for it to be adopted by other exchanges or anything because shit is going to hit the fan anyway. I got a new PC and logged into Metacomals. Where can I find my purpose? 
you have to add the token. But yeah, I like to stream more. I like to stream more. But I can't with all this trigger happy climate. How can it hit the fan if your game flops? If game flops, the purpose ain't worth shit. Or am I wrong? There must be something I miss. Cascados, if the game flops, it wouldn't be that great. Uh, but even if the game flops, we would just have analytics and improve it. Like a game doesn't succeed or flop. It's not a binary problem. You can improve it. Look at, I'm going to give you a perfect example, Amongst Us, right? Among Us, do you know that game was released two years ago? Well, there, Ramajwano just said it. It's like, look where it is now. They're top grossing. So like thinking like, oh yeah, a game is either up or down. That's not how it works. Streaming on YouTube or Facebook? Uh, no, nah, like I'm afraid of streaming on Facebook or YouTube because maybe someone at Twitch will think that I break the contract even though I'm not and then I get banned for nothing. If Amongst Us was a mobile game, it'd be popular way earlier. Actually, Among Us was a, is a mobile game for a very long time already. That's the reason when I checked it, I didn't even want to download it initially because it was out for so long already. Then I checked also, I downloaded it, I saw how long it was out, uh, and I saw the, the, the purchases. It's actually crazy, but it's just because it's going cray cray. So let me tell you here. I'll tell you quickly how long it's been up actually already. Among Us has been on the App Store for more than one year. I think for two years already. How is the mood in the compound? It's actually really good. It was a bit more grim earlier, like a few weeks ago, because people thought the game was going to take forever. But since we have deadlines, the, the mood is, is, is much better. Will you implement layer two solutions as well? Can you explain what that what, what you mean with that? Do people plan on leaving after release? A few. Any additions to the docu? We did add something, yes. We don't have any COVID, people with COVID symptoms. Maybe there is people asymptomatic, but no one has, well, we had a few people that had symptoms and they got quarantined, but everything is quite, uh, quite good. The docu is 40, 40, 42 minutes, I think. Did you guys think that the game was not going to come out? The documentary has two. There is a, a short version and a longer version. After the game, we will make the game more stable, market it, launch in China and all that stuff, and work on the productivity app. I make certain actions of chain to save even more on gas fees with the right layer to IA. I understand it. Uh, no, we, we, we are not doing that um, because we want to stay as, we want to actually stay as much vanilla as possible because it was on the table to have layer two uh, like implementation with gasless. But the problem is it, uh, it makes it very centralized. And if you then, yeah, it just makes it too centralized. 
our our solution is is really like even the instant transactions with the relayer and the gasless is it's not centralized at all like if you see how it works it's genius it's really a decentralized solution to to ethereum erc token to make it gasless and instantaneous it's absolutely crazy i don't know if people realize it people really like it's it's going to be a big buzz when when it comes out did you guys finish streaming functionality yes i can go live on my phone all the streaming functionality works it works smooth as fuck as well replays work everything works man you 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 can you stream while well, you can stream with 60 frames you can set it in the settings i think you can choose 60 frames whatever the fuck you want but it works by the way the old beta is still up on google play and works offline i didn't even know that And of Star Citizen. I wonder when that's going to come out, that game. But yeah. Either way, it's really late here, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I missed you guys. People that want to come over, make sure to do so. I'm still there. I'm working my ass off, guys. I'm working my ass off. People are working their ass off here. Really, man yeah you guys can also maybe see that i'm a little bit exhausted well exhausted i'm a little bit tired i've been running around trying to get all this uh this 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 fork properly done and um i also get a bit stressed when i stream on twitch lately because man you get banned for nothing <laughs> get banned for literally nothing Why aren't you getting to get that sweet ass purpose? I miss that. Uh, Profeta. Mm. Cause I don't need your money and the game is coming out soon. The game is gonna milk it for is gonna milk you guys for me. So why would I? And it's gonna milk for millions and millions. What am I gonna do for some cheap 10k here, 20k there? Fuck that. You guys will get milked real good. Was there actually something that we added in the game that is really worth mentioning? Don't even remember. Your choice is to stay in, in that shitty Twitch TV place, submissive streamer. Freeman LV, let me tell you something. I play the long game. I'm patient. The game has my own platform. If the game is popular, I don't need Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, anything. I can do whatever the fuck I want because I have my own Twitch platform. I have literally my own streaming platform. So I don't even go to YouTube or, or Facebook or whatever. I just, you know, I make sure that everything is good. I promote the game like crazy and then I'm independent. That's better than any platform. I saw a lot of cost testers streams on Twitch and they always seem to have laggy sound and frame drops. So that was just a setting problem. When you see frame drops and, uh, and, uh, and laggy streams is because we are testing the the bugs. But as far as I know, it's really it's really streamlined as fuck. I can go live and it's really it's really slick. Cause like there is different phones and all that stuff. Like when things work, it goes very quick. Yeah, they stream and they stop. 
but if it's only when things are buggy that they keep getting tested and tested. Like for example, I know there is one glitch, but it's already gotten fixed too. Yeah. We will not launch with iPhone 6 compatibility. I'm sorry, guys. iPhone 6 will not work. The, the worst phone we will, we, will, uh, we, will, we will support is iPhone 6S. iPhone 6 is just too much work. Like, and and almost nobody's using iPhone 6 anymore, so. But we might add compatibility in the future. How fast will you get approved by Apple? I think maximum two weeks after we have submitted it. And we're planning to submit it start of October. Same release date as, as Shadowlands? No, I was thinking of doing the closed beta, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Android earliest version, as long as you have two gig, you can play it. Literally use phones of five years old, six years old, seven years old, I think even. I might play Shadowlands. I will see. I will see. I just don't want to get in trouble with Twitch, man. Uh -oh. You won't get in trouble for playing a game. Did you see that Forson got banned because of his accent? I don't know if you guys saw that. Because <laughs> they thought he said the F word while he just said, you know. Fuckers or something like that. It's unbelievable. I stopped streaming because of, of Twitch, by the way. I'm telling it to you guys now. Like I stopped streaming because I'm, I just don't want to get banned. Like I am stressed when I stream. I'm just super stressed. Because it's not worth getting banned before the game comes out. After the game is out, man, I'm going to become one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. And then, it, then I will have contacts and everything. It will be a different story. But until then, I have to really, you know, just stay in the in the shadows. So yeah, I'm gonna be calling it here, guys. People that want to come over, please do so. If you do want to get, you know, that sweet ass purpose, I think is that is that what what is even the, the link to BX? I don't even know what the link is. Someone can link it. Get yourself that sweet sweet. And uh, I guess can't link stuff. Well, what is it? DBX is here. Is that? No, I saw someone linking a video. There. Here's also DBX, you know. Either way, 
keep it up, guys. I'll be uh, working my ass off. And uh, yeah, game soon, guys. Moon also very soon. Everything soon. Shit is going to hit the fan. And for those that want, come over. Three months is fine. Can use some help. Would be nice. If a few people can come over, would be sick. I would love it. Few people. Keep it up. See you guys. Peace out.